Um, in the pre-shuffle, we saw energy of denial. So someone here needs to detach from whatever it is that they think and feel. It's not what it is. Somebody's wearing rose-colored glasses, okay? Somebody is refusing to see something. And you could refuse to not see something and not even know it, okay? So just take a look at or think about what your friends or your family members are telling you and saying to you like what 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 is it that you're missing be honest with yourself okay or this could be your person being honest with themselves here but either way somebody's obsessive there's some there's definitely some obsessive energy here okay some of you guys are about to get a surprise unwanted visit to your home or to your job or whatever it is somebody here is stalking you they're stalking your place where you work wherever you go they they are or i feel like are going to they know where you go and where you work. They know your schedule, collective, okay? So, um, somebody's about to move out of desperation, like, because they're in denial. Because they're in denial, okay? I'm not just making this up. Spirit is saying, it's a warning here. Do not dismiss the red flags with this situation. I really hope this isn't negative energy here but it's looking like you definitely got to protect yourself and be careful and be mindful because i feel like some of you all may not think this person is is can act the way that this this energy is coming out you may be like oh i don't think my person would do that or oh no they will do it because like maybe you're not talking to them maybe you're not speaking with them maybe the two of you are on good terms or they didn't expect for you to set up some form of like boundary right but let's see. Oh, man. Somebody feels trapped. Hmm. Yeah. Someone here is in denial about a situation and they are refusing to walk away from a situation or see something for what it is. They're refusing to see a situation for what it is here. They, yeah, somebody's being controlled. Someone, this, this is totally giving like devil energy here. Someone here is totally like feeling trapped or enclosed in their own. This is definitely giving eight of swords, nine of swords energy. Let's, let's just go out to the tarot and see what's going on. Because you see this energy, you guys, this is, this is weird. Like what is going on here? Like, if this is not you feeling controlled and trapped and stuck in a situation or feeling manipulated by someone one you're, that you're with or whatever the label, it doesn't matter. I keep seeing the moon here. Someone here could be a cancer. And I, I just want to share something with you guys. Okay, I'm going to share something with you real quick. Because a lot of the time we ask spirit for clarity, right? We pray for clarity. We're like... Please show me what way to go. Please show me what direction to head into or give me clarity about a situation or about a person. And then spirit gives you that clarity and then what do you do with it, right? And the reason that I'm talking about this is because literally like I've, I have personally been there where spirit gave me the clarity because I asked for it and then I did something totally opposite of what spirit really was telling me to do. Now we, can, we all have free will, we can move and act completely different than we really like you know should or or want to but it's all a lesson so how many times do you want to learn a karmic lesson right um how how long do you want to be stuck in that karmic cycle so that's what i'm saying okay so show me more about the situation so just make sure you're paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities of a situation here okay that's all i'm saying don't be afraid to ask your spirit guides for help don't be afraid to ask other people for help because i feel like there's a difficult lesson here and you know you there's like a, a situation here where like coping is an issue you know um don't be afraid to ask for your family for help right ask help from people who have you've known for a very long time that you trust um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here with the Ten of Pentacles upright and the Five of Pentacles in reverse here. 
So it looks like someone here is thinking about coming out of the cold with you here. Somebody has a plan. They're thinking about how they can come out of the cold with you. So, which is good. Or this could be your energy too. You're thinking about coming out of the cold with something um, or in a connection with your person. It's time for you to leave your comfort zone. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Someone has to leave their comfort zone. Maybe even leave someone they've been with for a very long time. For some of y'all, right? Um, or leave a situation, you know, whatever that is. It, it, it was, it's a comfort zone. It's time for you to leave that. Yeah, look at that. You're trying to make a choice here with the lover's card. Gemini energy here. There's a choice that you got to make here. There's consequences to this choice. And I feel like you know there are consequences to this choice. And you're like afraid. Like, oh my God, what if I make the wrong choice? Right? Yeah, look at this. Someone feels so weak. They feel like there's a difficult decision here. And they feel very weak here. They feel like there's a void. There's a void here. Um... Be careful with how much money you're spending also. I don't know why that's a message here, but it is. Okay, nine of pentacles in reverse. Wow, hold on a second. You're not being honest with yourself about something here. Okay, you're closed-minded. It, it, it's ace of swords in reverse, you're closed-minded to something, or your person is closed-minded to something here. <sighs> You know you need to do something or act on something and you're not doing it. Or this person, your person is, knows that they need to do something, but they're not doing it. Yeah. There is a lack of planning here. Um, there is a lack of planning here. I don't even know, like... It's like somebody put a lot of time and effort and energy into a situation and in their connection and they're not getting what they what they hoped for. They're not getting anything. You know, somebody's putting so much time, effort, and energy into this situation, but they still feel trapped. They still feel stuck. They still feel like they're not free. They're like they're not free. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Like they're not free. And this person knows, like, there's more to life than this. Okay. Somebody here is tr seeking the truth about a situation. Ooh, somebody's trying to find out if they're kids. Somebody's trying to find out either someone is pregnant here. Hmm. You're going to find out. I really feel like either this message is not going to resonate for you or, or it won't um, or it will. But there are children involved in the situation here. Someone could be pregnant and somebody is looking for the truth about a situation. Okay. Mm. Okay. What else here? That could also be why somebody feels trapped and stuck and they're being controlled by a karmic masculine or a karmic feminine. Yeah, somebody is attached to a situation and the situation is actually quite unhealthy. The situation is very unhealthy. Okay, somebody's extremely dependent on someone here. Ooh, somebody here has a sex addiction too. So there could be a side baby or a side child here. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like there's somebody here who's awakened in this connection and there's somebody here who's not. Okay, gold digger. You see what I'm saying? There's somebody here in low vibrational energy that's only interested in money. Somebody here is, is stuck on how something looks. Sex and money. Like literally sex and money. Sex and money is like a big deal here. I don't know what this is about. But this is very, very karmic -y here. Oh, a side piece. Someone seeing somebody on the side. So someone here is seeing somebody on the side. If somebody here has some unhealthy addiction to this person, whether it's physically, sexually, or whatever, 
somebody can trap somebody with a child or with some kids or some sort. Yeah, if somebody here is like, oh shit. Somebody's in five of cups energy here. Whoever this is, it, they, they're very insecure. So whoever this person is that's sleeping around, like they just, wow. Yeah. You're not seeing something clearly here. You need to see this clearly. Yeah, you're not seeing this. So somebody is not seeing something clearly here. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me because you see how her eyes, her eyes are like scratched out and then she's covering up her eyes here. This reminds me, somebody's refusing to see the truth for what it is. This is reminding me of, um, what show is that? Um, like, I don't know. Uh, it's one of those reality shows. The girl's name is Robin. Um, Housewives of Potomac, I think it is. Robin's husband, I forget his name, because I've only seen like three episodes of that show. Because I can only do like so much of reality TV because it's such like, it's just crazy. But so like Robin's husband, is, there's been like all these scandals about how he's cheated. I don't know, right? I'm not saying somebody did or they didn't. Not my business. But it seems like he really did. Because there's so much evidence surrounding the situation. And it's like one situation after another situation after another situation. You feel me? So it's like after he apologizes or explains one situation after another, there's another situation that pops up like two or three weeks later. And everybody's sitting around like, well, damn, this motherfucker don't have no coof. He's still doing it. And you're still with him. And so they call like a meeting with Robin. This is the episode that I saw personally. Her friends. Now there was like a there was a a scene from that same episode where the friends there was a different set of friends where like they were gossiping about Robin in a negative way. And then I was watching that scene and I was like, well, shit, is anybody gonna like love her and then support her through this? Because it's clear that she's in denial and she's really going through a lot, so she hasn't become aware yet, right? And then there was another scene where there was a group of friends who were like aware that she was in denial and it probably was like shell shock, right? From trauma and, or, you know, she was okay with it and cool with it and just wanted to brush it under the rug. But either way, the point is, is that her real friends wanted to sit and meet with her and talk with her about this shit. And they were like, we're concerned. Are you okay? We want to let you know that we love you and that we know what's going on and that we support you. How can we support you? How can we be there for you to make this easier for you? And we just want to make sure that you understand what's happening. And yeah, it confirmed for them that she was really in denial, like in this energy of like, I refuse to see what's happening to me. I refuse to see what the situation really is. I refuse to see what this person is really doing to me. I'm in denial. I miss the red flags. You know. Yeah. Anywho, so this situation is evolving a bunch of karmic drama. And there's somebody like stalking and watching somebody here in this situation too. So if this isn't you, this is what your person's dealing with or a third party or something. I do not like it. Yeah, this watching you card just came back out. Somebody's watching and stalking. Lock your doors. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. I it's not funny, but that's the first thing I'm thinking about. Like, what the hell? For Oh, there's a the third party energy, you guys. This for, relationship is frowned upon by many. Forbidden love. You see what I'm saying? There's something forbidden here. People see, people are seeing what's happening. People know what's going on. So this person thinks that they're so self-centered and so in their ego. So they think people cannot see what's going on they think nobody can see and it may be true everybody can see except for them you see what i'm saying everybody can see except for them my goodness okay i was not expecting no kind of drama tonight with this but it came out so 
I don't I don't know who this is resonating for. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm very grateful and appreciative that you are here. I hope you're getting something in out of this reading. I hope this makes sense to y'all. Yeah. Can't make this up. This person is arguing. There's a third party involved. Your person and someone else is arguing over you. They're, they argue over you. Somebody is, yeah, and they and they are obsessed and, uh, and infatuated. Yeah, okay, so, all right, I'm just going to say this. If you resonate as a divine feminine, you may feel like it's, it's, it's hard for you to move on from this person. Or for some of you guys, your person, it's difficult for them to move away and get over you. They've tried to get over you, divine feminine, but they're not able to. And... They are so obsessed and infatuated with you. The third party that they're with, that they may have children with, that they may have a family with or whatever, because we do have side piece, side piece energy here and lust, right? Okay. Me and my person argue over you. Yeah. So this person feels stuck to this karmic because they have children with them or there's money involved here because remember we saw interested in financial gain so there's somebody here who's definitely interested whoever's in this nine of swords i mean not nine of swords nine of pentacles energy here in reverse this is the motherfucker who is the gold digger what the fuck who is this mm. Somebody tried to, may have even tried to trap somebody with a child. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Money is definitely a hot commodity. Mm. But when you focus only on money, this is what happens. This is what happens. It leads you down a dark karmic tunnel. Okay. Look at this. I'm hiding a lot right now. You see what I'm saying? This person is hiding so many secrets. They're hiding so many secrets from you, collective. This is crazy. I think about you. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I think about you when I'm with them. You see what I'm saying? This person, they're in love with two people. They're in love with two people. Honestly, though, see, I just caught myself. I don't feel like they're in love with the other person. I feel like they're in love with you, but they're using somebody else for money or they are being used by the karmic for money. Look at this. Spying, creeping, lurking, investigating, and watching you. Look at this. I can't make this up. Spirit wants you to know somebody is watching. So be careful. You know, with what you're saying and what you're doing, who you're texting, who you're calling. Or like, just know that whatever you're doing is being watched. It's being watched. I miss our family. Okay, so some of you all could have had children with this person here. Okay. Children are definitely involved in this situation, right? Um, or on the way. Uh oh, what does that say? Everyone knows that that oh everybody knows that i'm in love with you just fell on the floor i'm gonna pick it up so you can see it hold on okay everyone knows that i'm in love with you so everyone knows that that your person is in love with you collective but they're with somebody else this is a, such a karmic mess i do not want you guys to be I mean, I don't know if you're on the sidelines or if you're still involved with this or what, but like, I feel like you guys put so much of your time, effort, and your energy into something and it's like you're not getting what you expected out of it. You know, you're just not getting what you deserve. I don't, I don't like this. <sighs> Show me just divine masculine energy, please. Hold on. Nine of Cups, Four of Swords. 
I feel like this person is taking a break. They're not saying anything. They're not talking to you. They know they know who you are and what you are, but they're not going to act on it. It's a wish fulfillment for them. They prayed and wished and hoped for you and then they got it. And then, and then it's like they couldn't do anything with it when they got it because they're stuck in this other situation. Could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign here. Queen of Swords. Somebody here may have set boundaries. Um, hmm. Strong boundaries too. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Show me more here. This person feels like you said, yeah, no, you're not talking the hangman Pisces energy. Someone here is not saying shit. The last time somebody said something was saying, I'm done. King of Swords energy. This King of Swords wants to apologize. So here's a soulmate. Somebody wants to apologize to you um, or make a love offer to you for playing mind games. I feel like somebody's got somebody else. The ten of the ten of cups and the queen of um pentacles is here. Like somebody has a family or something, or there's definitely a family or some kids or some history involved in the situation. I don't that's all I'ma say. Okay. Um show me more about the situation, please. Yeah. High priestess, the pay listen. Somebody is watching and stalking you and not saying shit. Somebody is secret looking for your... This person is... Somebody here is looking for your fucking secrets. Somebody wants to know your secrets. So they can tell tell everybody or... Mm, mm, mm. Somebody is digging. Somebody's digging for the tea. Could be an Aries. Or this masculine. Show, show me more here. Mm -mm. Page of Cups wants to come out. All right. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is a family situation. Somebody's hiding some secrets. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's hiding secrets. They're, yeah, see this person, there's so much burden around this shit, it's ridiculous. Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Somebody is wounded, been through so much shit. They're going through all kind of drama. Um, they feel stuck and trapped and beat the fuck up. Like, I, I, I'm not really sure what else to say about this. Um, hold on. I see. For some of you all, this might be your twin. But there's a spiritual lesson in this whole situation, okay? And I feel like the spiritual situation is for you to learn to take off the rose-colored glasses. Like, to be honest with yourself. What, what else here for the collective, please, in this situation? Yeah, this person's definitely coming towards you to apologize. So if you're expecting an apology, this person is going to apologize to you after some, like, a period of no communication or some time apart from each other. Some of you all can li live at a distance with this person. But Spirit is saying, do not dismiss the red flags. Don't dismiss the uh, urge for you to listen to your intuition and how you feel. If you're, if what, yeah, they want your forgiveness. This person is going to come back towards you and ask you for your forgiveness. I feel like they're going to lay it on really, really, really thick. They may even use somebody that you know that's very close to you to do this. Um... It may be necessary for some of you all to reach out to your support system, too. Because I feel like you're going to be... Like, this is not going to be an easy decision for you. I feel like you're going to think about it and think about it and think about it. And uh, I'm just going to be honest. Even though you set boundaries and you turned your back to the situation, um, it's, it's there comes a time when it's time for you to, like, to, to heal and to make a decision. Like, there's a final decision that needs to be made here. So the decision really lies with you. So
So if you feel like you need to seek therapy or um, support from a friend or family member or a trusted loved one or someone who you feel like has wisdom and guidance or just pray, you need to do that. Okay. Because I feel like this person is still wearing some form of mask or they're not being honest with you when they come back towards you. Okay. There's something they're still, yeah, the denial. Did I tell you this? Th there's an issue with denial and you accepting something here. Oh my gosh. I can't make this up. You got to be more patient with yourself than what you're being. I really, really feel like there's a strong message here of you separating yourself from a situation, just distancing yourself so you could allow yourself some time to really think, to really think things through. You know how it is, it's like when they say you're on the outside looking in, but it's it because that's different than being in the situation. When you're on the outside looking in, you have a totally different perspective. Amen energy, right? Um, it's time for you to be head over heart and see something differently and rest and take a break from this shit and be selfish. Be all about you. Yeah. Look at this. Inner, inner child, you can heal yourself. So this is about healing. This is about persevering and pushing through. This is about you learning something here so you can move forward and take the role and learn how to take the rose colored glasses off. All right, let's get a few more cards here. What else? And then we'll see what your person wants to say to you. Show me what else here, please. Thank you. Yeah, shine your light. And be in your authenticity, success, and opportunity. So if you do what you what's bet, yeah, and be uniquely you, independence. You see what I'm saying? Because earlier we saw the nine of pentacles in reverse, which is like codependency. No feeling like you're not feeling like yourself. You're dependent, right? Um, and it's now spirit is saying it's time for you to be independent and be you shine your own light i'm just going to show you these cards i'm just showing you these cards here be you okay then we have the energy of authenticity shine your light okay don't worry about what any fucking body else has to say as long as you're doing that you will be successful there will be opportunities you will be free which will this is going to take i feel like when you learn this lesson you're going to go from not of pinnacles in reverse to not of pinnacles upright because you're healing your inner child Right? Inner child. You can heal yourself. So you do have the ability to heal yourself. I want to see what this person wants to say to you. Um, you have the ability to heal yourself. Fuck this um, karmic ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. What does this person want to say to my collective, please? This is a no. What does this person want to say? I love you and support you. I just want you to know that. But this is a no. Uh, what does this person want to say to the collective, please? I want a future with you. Okay, let's see what comes after that. Because again, the cards that we saw is spirit telling you to see something from a different perspective. See things head over heart. Be logical. Do not be emotional. Okay? Do not dismiss the red flags. There are too many secrets. There are too many lies. Somebody here is all out for financial gain and money. Somebody definitely got kids. Somebody's definitely got insecurities. Ooh, I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. It was too intense. I feel like they also sabotaged the connection because they had somebody else 
okay? They See, the thing is, the energy that they feel with you, they don't feel this energy. They never felt this way with the other person, the karmic. They met you, not a cups, wish fulfillment. They felt everything. And they were like, what the fuck is this? This feels weird. You mean to tell me real love exists? Yeah, it does. You settled. Why the fuck did you settle? I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed me to be. So this person wants you to know that they apologize for not being who you wanted them to be. See, this person knows they are really kind of fucked up in the head because they are. But they want your forgiveness. Now, I'm not saying this person doesn't have a heart because they clearly they do. But it doesn't mean they have the ability to change right now and be who you need them to be for you as far as being cohesive, being in a connection together. You know, for those of you who want to be with your person, this person is not ready. Okay. I was selfish and stuck in my ego. Hmm. Mm -hmm. One more, please. One more, please. One more for the collective. Oh, okay. They will never, look at this. They will never compare to you. You're always on my mind. So you're always on this person's mind. And we've already talked about, like, you know, um, it says, I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I told you they never met anybody who did what you did, gave them what they, what you gave them. I mean, let's be real. You are authentic. What you have and who you are and what you can give, honey, is so much more worth than what this person, unfortunately, has to give you right now in this moment. I just want you to know that. It says, I need to tell you the truth. And they do, because they're hiding a lot of fucking secrets. The distance between us kills me. And it does. I think I mentioned that earlier. But, you know, we all are, learn a very valuable lesson. And, you know, the sooner we come out of denial and accept things for what they are and accept people for who they are and where they are in that moment in their life, then the better off we will be. It's clarity. There's no right or wrong. There's just clarity, right? So um, I hope this gave you some clarity. And I love you guys. Kisses. Until next time. Stay the hell away from these karmic ass people. They're not ready. You are worthy. Okay? Bye.